Listening to the sounds of KBHX 88.1 FM. I was actually DJ Deception of the Nocturnal Sound Crew getting busy on some cuts live in the studio right now. Yeah. It's yours truly, the Fly DX on the microphone. My man um, DJ K9 is in the building. And um, before before I actually talk to Deception, um, K9, you just broke a very good record <laughs> and I don't mean like when I say break a record I, I'm not talking about like you know the Olympics like breaking a record I'm talking about you physically broke that Roots record that you was playing early on and if, if you really didn't like that record I would have took it <laughs> you know what I'm saying and the, you know the funny thing is I was just I was just explaining to the gentleman in this room that you know you have a tendency when a needle skips a little bit just a little bit you tend to snap I'm gonna call you, back. you know what i mean come on Wait, what, what mic is that mic four hey. can you hear yourself hey 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 yeah, can you hear me? Okay. yeah i can hear you all right but well, anyway it, it, it's not that i didn't like the record i mean i have maybe three copies of it but you know if, a, if i'm out in the, in the spot and i'm playing Am I good? Am I loud though? Yeah, you are. All right. Yeah, you good. <laughs> Turning the music down, you know. You know. But right, I'm out in the spot. I'm playing. I'm playing some records, and I didn't know it was a scratch on it. I don't know how I got there, and I'm playing, and all of a sudden it's skipping, it's skipping. You know, the first thing that happens, everybody go, oh, everybody in the room go, oh. So you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, this never skipped before. So I'm gonna get rid of it so I don't accidentally play it again. At least play, at least play that particular one. But I, like I say, I have like maybe two or three copies of it. Well, I uh, so guess what my point is I was, is I understand I just, I got that mad. I get rid of it. <laughs> but I got mad. I, you know, I'm just. I don't know, man. There, there, there are like pieces of record all yeah. over this studio right now. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's it's ironic because we was just talking about that because this isn't the first time you've done it. You've been doing it for years, and I just I just had to just throw that out there. We got my man. We got my man, um, DJ Deception in the building. You know yeah. what I mean? Step over to, um, Mike. You can probably get on that mic right there if you just want to hear it. Can you hear it right now, though? Turntable. Here. He's got anger management problems. You, I mean, you got the anger management. Pretty especially when some, especially when some just pop up like that. I'm like, okay, this, this record never skipped. The record skipped like four times in a row. You know, never, never happened. I've never had a record skip like four times in a row. Well, these things happen. They well, weren't, see, they weren't your needles. They were, they were deceptions needles. Well, so. I could have blamed it on. Well, see, this is the thing. I, I had to figure it was either the record or the needle, so I just eliminated one of them. And since the record was mine, you know, I couldn't right. break, you hey, know, the other DJs. I would be pretty upset. I got my <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we got my man DJ Deception in the building. What's the deal, man? I'm chilling, man. What's going on? 
Uh, nothing. You know, we we're gonna educate people um, that may not be familiar okay. with um, you know, who you are. Yeah. You know, you um, you actually moved here um, not too long ago. I mean, you've been here for like how long has it been now? It's like a, a little bit over two years. A little over two years. You know what I mean? It's like people I, in in the hip hop scene are just now um, starting to like I guess catch on to you or whatnot. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but. Um, uh, represent the Nocturnal Sound Crew. Yes, sir. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, y'all are best known for winning the ITF, that's the International Turntablist Federation world title, not U.S., but world title, two times, um, back to back, actually. You know what I mean? What was the years? Was it 2001 and 2002? Uh, that's correct, sir. Okay. He's, he's like hopping from like mic to mic. Okay. We're all over the place in the studio right now, you know what I mean? He's getting situated, throwing some headphones on. And now you coming back over here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sit down, man. Come on, sit down, man. Sit down. It's very unprofessional. It's very unprofessional. We got people from L.A. listening right now, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, now, I, I brought up L.A. You, you won, your crew won the first title, and the world finals was actually in L.A. Um... Uh, San Francisco, San Francisco. Oh, it's in San Francisco. Cali, yes, West Coast. West Coast, hypey. What was that whole situation like? You know, first time, you know, competing. Well, actually, let's take let's take it back. First. Okay. okay. Prior to that, what was it like actually knowing that you were going to the world after winning? What, what was it? Um, was that Hemisphere? The West, the uh, Western Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that that's like everybody in the U.S., Canada. And I don't know, there may have been other areas, but, you know, it was, it was actually more than the U.S. And y'all actually, you know, took that and was, you know, going to the, the big ball game, though, the world finals. You know what I mean? Yeah, what, what, was that, what was that situation like? It was pretty crazy because, um, you know, we're, um, being from Hawaii, it's not really known as, like, a turntablist or even hip-hop, period. Yeah. So we were just the underdogs, and then we just ripped it, man. I don't know. We, we were just doing our own thing. We have um, the continental U.S. is, like... Um, is on its own thing, and we're over here in the, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, is doing our own thing. I guess what we were we were doing was um, pretty unique and different, and I guess that that's why we took the title. The I US. mean, what what were y'all influenced by? I mean, I'm sure, like you know, obviously the you know DMC tapes and you know whatever tapes right, you right, get right. your hands on um, out there. But I mean, I know just from like take for example like St. Louis, which um, a lot of people are not really all that. We're not really all that familiar about the battle scene here in St. Louis, for example. Right. Um, so, like, I mean, like, for us, for example, our crew, Wax Murders, we really had to, like, kind of, like, dig deep and, you know, kind of travel um, and do doing mm -hmm. regionals. And, and the thing is, like, see, we could hop in a car and do a regional, right, right? you know, and you're on the island, you know what I mean? So, I mean, like, like kind of explain, like, the, your whole your whole come up. Your whole come up situation that actually even got you to that point, and and, and K9, you need to quit messing around. <laughs> on the team, man. This is a serious interview right now. Yeah, this is real serious. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have the music right now, man. It's real serious. All right, all right, I'm done. All right, all right. Done. Yeah, go ahead. Um, basically, like, the influence, like, since uh, actually we we set off the whole. Uh, battle scene in Hawaii. Um, there, there were some um, like original guys that were doing it, but weren't at, uh, up at that level um, where it was like in like '99 and stuff. You have like your OGs over there and stuff. But um, I guess it was from the videotapes because, like you said, we're stuck on a pretty much uh, on a rock, and we just uh, incorporated everything we saw through um, the DMC tapes, ITF. Uh, Qbert's uh, do, uh, not do yourself, but um, turntable TV, yeah, and all that, and then we just took that what we saw, and we flipped it into our own style. <clears throat> so and and I guess because um I actually what set it off for us that we can do it they had the '99 ITF World Finals in Hawaii, okay, and yeah, we were looking at that yeah they um they had the team routine battle they had the individual battle and we're like hey man actually I think we can do that. So that that's what set it off for us. Like, hey, these main guys that are in the world finals are um, doing stuff that we can do for sure. So, the next, the first year, uh, 2000, we started practicing, and 2001, 
we entered, took it. And he took it. Because, <laughs> you know, what the funny thing was, it, like, I remember when y'all hit the scene. And y'all actually kind of hit with force. And it, it wasn't just y'all because, well, I mean, even like individually in terms of what your, um, your crew member, um, you know, my name, name went blank on me just like mm -hmm. that. Solution. Yes, um, like, I think, like, was it that same year that he made it to the U.S. DMC? Was that the same year? Uh, 2001. 2001, yeah, 2001 right? It was um, around uh, 2000, 2001, they started bringing out ITF and uh, uh, DMC to Hawaii, and that really helped us a lot to get us out of the islands, actually. Yeah, 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 and it's like, y'all definitely came with, like, serious force. Now, how difficult, what, what was your mentality going into defending because technically you really didn't have to defend you could have just sat back and been like hey you know hey we the champs we ain't got to see none of these cats you know what i'm saying we right, done right, we right. did what we did in 2001 you know f all y'all you know what i mean what made you want to compete again in 2002 to defend and what was your mentality like going in there knowing that you know you had to defend and you know a lot of people may may have looked at all oh, these cats got lucky these cats from hawaii exactly just came out of nowhere they got lucky you that know? was it right there yeah, um, basically it was just to put the um, the period in the whole thing, like to like say that we did it the first time and we did the second time, and you can't say nothing about it. You know what I mean? Because there were some um, there were some people like, oh, who are these guys? Since we were so new, yeah. we just um, like most DJs that blew up um, nowadays, they had history in the battle scene. Yeah. And for us, the Nocturnal Sound Crew, we just uh, came up all of a sudden edge of the competition and we took it and people didn't validate that as like a like a you know what I mean yeah yeah it wasn't like a real they think they thought they thought it was you didn't work hard for it or you didn't put any um you didn't put any work into it and stuff yeah yeah. so yeah. you know we came back second time even harder and then we killed it again in Munich Germany man out of our hometown out of the country we still killed it we were yeah. up against people from Belgium and another USA uh team out there in uh, Munich, Germany. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So, what's going on, what's going on with you right now? Because you, I, I guess with the million dollar question that, that some people would like to know is, you're from Hawaii, why are you here? <laughs> oh. I mean, it's like, now you ain't gotta get on, you ain't gotta get too, I gotta get too personal, but let's, let's, let's be honest. Okay. We're, we're sitting here talking about Hawaii. 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 You know what I mean? I, I, I've been to Hawaii. Right. How do you like it? <laughs> Where did you? Go I, I was there? actually I was in Maui. Okay. You know what I mean? And actually, um, one of my my first cousins actually met his wife out there. Um. It'll do it to you. Yeah, yeah. Hawaii is nice. Now, when I'm on the street and I straight try to educate cats, like, yo, you know, there's this this two time world champion, you know, his crew, like, they sit, they won the, the title two times, right. you know what I mean? You know, where did he come from? Oh, you know, he's from Hawaii, you know. People are going to kind of wonder, okay, well, you know, why why St. Louis, you know right. what I mean? And I, I know actually that, you know, you were actually somewhere else before you even right. came to St. Louis. There was a, you had a location in Texas right. in between Hawaii and St. Louis, but, you know, some people may want to know that, and you can answer right. if you want. You don't have to answer. Right. You know? um, <laughs> um, it's just, the only reason I came out here to the Midwest in Texas is because of uh, the good uh, ice skating. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Hawaii is really warm climate, as everybody knows, and there's uh, zero ice skating. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, so now it's all about, about winning the, the ice skating. Yeah, yeah actually, I, I, um, I perfected, I'm actually developing this new technique of ice skating. It's uh, pretty much... Uh, Ice skating and um, doing head spins at the same time. All right, all right. Actually, you know what? Uh, the, the the skate looks on your feet. There's one on the head, and <laughs> I just go out and perfecting this new style. I'm trying to actually push it to go to the Olympics. All right, all right. You multitasking. Yeah, yeah. Last, you know, last, I mean, you know, I, I dig that. I dig yeah, that. I dig that. that. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, we're actually we're, we're gonna actually let you get on and, and cut a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, you you're one of the you you really love to scratch. <laughs> that, that's 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 quite honestly that's the only way I can put it. I mean I, I I would say like arguably more than anyone here. I mean it's like people people used to say, "Oh, hey, that scratch too much." 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. This dude, Deception? Yeah, yeah. He got me beat by far. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's just some turntables there. It's like, yo, you want to scratch? Yo, let's session. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, anybody that's been to the Wax Murder of School, it's like we got a double set up. So it's, it's impossible for him to come over and not want a session. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's me, K-9. Rob Swift came over to the school, and you'll rob the scratch. <laughs> that was like the first thing he said. <laughs> he brought his computer over, he looked it up into a, I mean, it's like, you know, Rob was just like, just chilling. Yo, Rob, let's, let's session. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, but we don't let you get on, but um before before you do that, um, we was actually talking about the Philippines. You know what I mean? Yeah, Philippines, man. What's there's up a, with it, man? Yeah, Philippines. I'm trying to travel. Right. Yeah, there's uh we're working actually an alternal uh sound crew. Uh we're trying to get a show out there. It's in the making right now, it's not uh for sure yet, but we are definitely gonna head to the motherland. Definitely. Word, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, um, I'm going to let you get on. Okay. okay. Um, when you get off, I'm going to talk just a little bit more because you actually have a little um, uh, a scratch album. We'll just call it an album, but you might as well just say it. It's a scratch album. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> cuts after cuts after cuts over really gangster slow beats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> all y'all cats just like to, to ride to that slow funk. You know what I mean? Um I don't know what you want to cut. I mean, it re- I don't even know why I'm asking. Like, well, I don't know what you want to cut to. I mean, it's like you, 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 you will find something. <laughs> uh, hey, Ken, you got that new Britney Spears you're playing in your car the other day? <laughs> <laughs> I like that beat. And that too. Oh, uh, that one? Nah. Um, oh, did you break that one too? Nah, I put that. That, 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 uh, that uh, Jessica Simpson. Oh. Um, uh, what's that? that, that, that that, what's that chick, the Kelly Clarkson? That oh, yeah. Things, but I, okay. You know, Did you bring I that? I can't play because it might scratch, and then I have to break it. Right, right. That's all good, man. I'll find something, though. <laughs> right. Give me a second, guys. Okay. He's um, warming okay. up his fingers, you know what I'm saying? And also keep in mind, um, Wax Murders and Nocturnal, you know, certain members of, you know, each crew uh, have been um, collaborating. We're actually going to shortly um, be doing a little bit of showcasing, you know what I mean? We, we're not announcing anything as of right now, but... You will be seeing something, you know what I mean? We're actually in the lab and, you know, we're, we're concocting a few things, you know what I mean? Big up to all the real hip-hoppers out there, um, the real DJs, the real MCs, B-boys, B-girls, graph riders, human beings. Real DJs. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> a, that's a lot of, you know. I know, yeah, button pushing. Yeah, I got you. You know, I got you. We're talking about, you know, hip-hop DJs and hip When I say hip-hop DJ, I'm not saying, like, you spin a rap record. No, I'm talking about... You know the skills that actually made up hip hop. You know right. what I mean. You know, jump into various parts of the record. You know, um, back spinning, a little bit of cutting here and there. You know, just showing de- different techniques. And we're not talking about doing it on on the CDJs where you just push a button and rewinds for you and push it again and it's back on the. Yeah, you know. Right. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about doing it manually. Got to be a little hands on with it. And, and the bottom line is just be creative. You know what I'm saying. Um, but anyway. I'm gonna let um solution uh, act. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let deception. <laughs> they in the same crew, all right. so it's all good. Hey, well, some, some, sometimes a couple of people call me needles one time. I'm like, how, how did that happen? <laughs> I'm like, come on, glasses, bald head, yeah, I'm like no no dreads. <laughs> Damn, We're gonna, gonna let solutions like, partner. <laughs> DJ Twisted. <laughs> Get on the wheels of steel and do what he do. So, you ready to... Let's do it, man. Let me warm up for a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, don't, you really don't need to warm up too much. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's like a battle, man. No doubt. He got, some, he got some little album out. You'll probably have to, you know, catch him on the street. In order to get it, you know, I might as well talk about it now. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. Um, what was the name of it again? M44? Uh, seven Confessional. M447 Confessional. And I heard it, it's, it's, almost everything on there is like this tempo or slower. Yeah. And to my understanding, you was smoking something when you made that. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that wacky Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's all good, though. It's all good, though. But I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead and do your oh, thing, shoot. you know. You know, let's go. Let people know how you get down on the wheels. Wrong way. 
Word up. That was DJ Deception getting busy on the, the cuts and the scratches, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what he digs doing, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just him. Word up. Uh, but you, but for real though, quite honestly, it's like if you see him out, odds are he's going to be, you know, just, you know, mixing because that's basically what us DJs get paid to do, you know. But cats like us, we, we specifically, you know, more than anything, we like, we really love to just, you know, showcase um, you know, cut, beat, juggle, um, show off routines. You Enrique know women. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Um, but yeah, you know, actually, right about now, actually, we took this like a, uh, almost like a, a, a full half hour. So what I'm gonna do? I actually, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna finish off the last. Uh, last half hour, um, I'm actually gonna play some new joints because I was playing this Chino XL joint last week. That, um, it's like as soon as I played it, it was like it was like mad people calling in asking what it was. Like, the beat's real dope, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna definitely play that again, you know what I mean? Um, cop the Wax Murderers album in stores, you know what I mean? 
Yo, K9, can I get some uh, instrumental? I mean, do I got like. I thought, I thought this was going on. I mean, there ain't, ain't nothing playing right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know. Yeah. I ain't hearing nothing right now. But anyway, you know what I mean? Cop the Wax Murders album in stores now. You know what I mean? If you can catch deception on the street somewhere, beat his ass. <laughs> if you see me on the street, look at my shoes. <laughs> yeah, he got the fresh kicks. You know what I mean? But no, nah, if you if you see him on the street, he might have um, one of his a uh, copy of uh, his album. You know what I mean? Um, might have to re-release it. You know what I mean? Or make a part two. You know what I mean? For cats that's you know been sleeping or whatever. Check for Nocturnal Sound Crew. They've been doing their thing. You can actually you know check out um, some of the recent um, DMC tapes. Um, the U.S. Finals, you know, Solution um, was on a couple of them, if I'm correct, and um, Caustic was Caustic, in the last year, sir. correct? Caustic correct. and DJ Jammy was in uh, the USA DMC. Yeah, 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 yeah. J- Jammy the year before, right? Right. Yeah, 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 no doubt. So y'all cats definitely been doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Right about now, it's like there ain't like no music playing right now. Yeah, Is that's another way. Yeah. Y'all can hear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. like I can't hear it in mine. Okay, I hear it now. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't have it in mind. I didn't have mine cue. Okay, we all good. We all good. Okay, I'm gonna get on the wheels of steel. Actually, I'm gonna let my man, um, the boy Master Kev, um, if he got something he gotta play, I'm gonna let him play it. Then you know I'll finish out the joint. Um, I play some new joints. I might play some old joints. I'll definitely play that new DX song, Rappers Sup. Um, cop my album. It will be dropping this summer. And once again, I said it last week. If there's any DJs out there that want to um, battle, we are throwing another Wax Motorers um, DJ competition at the Wax Motorers School. As you know, it's similar to the Backcade. If you don't know where it's at, you got to know us in order to be there. You know what I mean? Or if you know you basically are cool with somebody that's actually going to compete in it, you know you may be able to get in that way. You know what I mean? My man Deception last year actually was going to showcase. Hopefully we can get him to showcase this year. You know what I mean? You know. Um, but on that note, boy, Master Kev, I'm going to pass it to you, and then um, I'm going to get on the wheels of steel and finish things out. Big up to all the real hip hoppers out there. Keep it locked on 88.1. No, no doubt. doubt. I'm <laughs> 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 